we are sustainable. Hi there, my name is Thomas Lim and I'm the executive chef of Goldie's Restaurant in Los Angeles. When it comes to restaurants, in terms of striving for sustainability, in terms of produce and the actual aesthetic of the restaurant, there's a number of factors that come into play. In terms of your produce, you want to be sourcing something that's sustainable, that basically provides needs for the presence now, but then you still know that future generations will have the ability to have the same access to that produce. So we try and work with certain farmers and purveyors that share the same ideals as us. Every single aspect of this restaurant has been thought out to the finest detail from Britney's cocktail program to the wine list that me and John do to the food program to Nick's idea about how people want to be comfortable and enjoy this restaurant. Pretty much everything in this restaurant was designed and built by Nick's construction team. Most of the wood and all the materials are reclaimed. Most of the fixtures around the restaurant see the source from antique websites or certain auctions. I work with a number of farmers that are predominantly based in California. We have one farmer uh, named Sabrina, farms called Chirock Farms. She has like 19 acres. When you go out and see how these people live and how they work, they're not using any pesticides or herbicides. It's very simple, sort of like archaic farming, which is the way it should be. Once you start disrupting the habitat that surrounds that farm, everything's interconnected with that biodynamics. So once you disrupt one thing, that's gonna have an effect on your whole crop. Stephanie, who goes out fishing for us, she's another one that just has a tiny operation. Adam, who has like eight hives in his backyard, and he brings us honey. Those bees are actually pollinating the area around Los Angeles where some of our other produce is coming from. So everything's kind of interconnected in like a weird way. These people at their heart, this is what they're passionate about. They're passionate about fishing, they're passionate about farming. For them, they want this produce to be showcased in the right light. That's why we like to source from local farmers because it's hard for them to get a voice these days, especially with massive corporations. For these smaller farmers, the produce costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. When you have this produce that is sustainable, either biodynamic or organic farming practices. You can taste the difference. It tastes delicious. Afterwards, you feel good. Your body feels good. If you're going to eat a sustainable or organically biodynamically raised product, you should drink it as well. The wines that we have on our list, the farmers are a whole lot more in touch with their vineyard. They don't use any irrigation, really. They're using primitive farming techniques where they use herbicides or pesticides. You kind of say to yourself, where do you stop? I don't think you should ever really stop thinking about every single detail. You go to like all these extraordinary lengths for this beautiful produce, but then what are you seasoning that piece of meat with? Where, where's that salt come from? What's the process they use? What chemicals they use? Because if you're seasoning a beautiful piece of skirt steak from Boulder Valley with a toxic ingredient, you kind of defeat the purpose and like ruining all that hard work. It's one of those things where you need to have respect for the process and the ingredients and know where it, it's come from and the time and effort someone's put into producing these certain ingredients. At the same time, this is why you're in hospitality. You're here to provide a service of the highest quality for your patrons. So if you're sourcing substandard produce, that's what's going on the table to your guests. And for me, that's a big kick in the ass to your patron. You're doing them a massive disservice. Sustainability is important because it's respect for what's happening on right now and here in the present. But then you also need to think about the future and what future generations are going to need. When you're supporting all these sustainable farmers and purveyors, it's like you're also supporting yourself and the longevity of this restaurant.